Welcome back, I'm Sonic Placebo, and today I've got an interesting one for you. This one is called The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't actually know anything about it, other than that it's a point-and-click adventure. So let's dive in and see what it's got to offer. I'm not like a huge Sonic fan, but I like Sonic fine, and I so we'll see you know what this has. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good uh, for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot that my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Okay, so this is us. Well, my name is Cynic. That's my name. Cynic, did I spell that right? <laughs> yes, am I asking myself if I spelled that right? That's weird. All right, hope passengers can read my scribble. Ooh. Well, there's some, you know, lovely art. This almost looks like a, they're going for almost like a paper cutout vibe. Uh-oh, I am, Am I nervous? Is this first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Cynic, shake it off. Oh, I'm the dining car person. Okay. Cynic, did I just see you hitting yourself? Uh, Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, oh, oh quite all right myself, though feeling a bit, little bittersweet. Oh, uh, is everything all right? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got her plane tickets to Spagonia locked. <laughs> our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotel's fahaha. All right. I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today's your first day working in the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Okay. I can open the inventory at any time to view items I've received. I should look over the menu carefully. The menu. Uh, chili dog, ramen, and chicken cordon bleu. Wow. That uh, seems to be quite the jump in skill level. <laughs> From chili dog to ramen to chicken cordon bleu. But alright. I can handle it. Okay. An instant ramen, no less. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. Oh, okay. Ha 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 ha. Though I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, <laughs> chicken cordon bleu. Ding ding ding. Glad you can read the menu. Okay. Ha 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 ha. A little about this vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed, smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our guests, paying guests, are well taken care of, understood? Uh, sure. Ha ha ha, glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! That's lovely. They've done a great job with the art here. I mean, it's definitely on the simple side, but I like that. It's, it's just elegant and pretty. Okay, so everybody's getting on board. Wow, this train is incredible! What fascinating tech! You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go out all out for my birthday party. I'm not going to be able, able to keep all these <laughs> voices straight. <laughs> Rouge. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Oh, she's a thief. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's going to miss a tiny pen? What a cast of characters I'm stuck with. Get a hold of yourself, Cynic. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? Sure. Arg. Are you a pirate? <laughs> oh, no. I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Cynic, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Okay, got it. Alright, we'll start with Sonic, because he's the star. Come on. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. 
Don't worry. Oh, don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. Oh, don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. I wish they'd change, like, the color of the dialogue box. That would help me keep things clear, but... Wait a second. Is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes have f, f fun now. Will do, thanks. All right, who's this? Could we please see your ticket? Espio, of course. Of course, I, I don't know, do something maybe different for him. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, and I hope you can enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's calmness about him, something about his presence puts me at ease. Okay, so I should do a calm voice. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. Wow, ninjutsu, that sounds a lot like difficult training. Can you cling onto walls? Cling onto walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Okay. Well, it's her birthday, right? Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee <laughs> hee, why certainly. Thank you, miss, and for choosing our fine train your birthday f uh, for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. <laughs> Maybe we should leave her to have fun. <laughs> Before we move along for you, miss... Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do you use this? Oh, a key, huh? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Okay. Uh, do I really have to talk to everybody? Well, let's talk to Tails, huh? Can I get your ticket, youngin? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Haha, <laughs> absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this train is normal. Uh, Knuckles, yeah. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? Oh, it's all crumpled. I think that's a ticket. But I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. It seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmph. Alright, that one's quick. Alright, Gator Dude, let's just speed through these and get to the plot. We're going to kind of click through real quick. If you really want to pause and read what everybody's got to say, you can. But we just got to get through. Shadow, okay. <laughs> I just want to get to the, the plot of the game because uh, I don't really know what this has to offer. Hopefully I'm not missing important dialogue that I'm going to regret later. But, you know, sometimes you just got to go by the seat of your pants. Oh, I wonder what a cake topper Sonic picked out for me. Uh, I bet you're right. Okay, great. Uh, I haven't gotten her ticket, right? Uh, okay. So I think we've got all the tickets now, right? Even though she's a thief, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, we got everybody's ticket, right? Does it show? No, it doesn't show, huh? Alright. Oh, what's this about? Yummy, don't mind if I do. Cynic, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure Cynic only gets one of those if they ask. Okay. The arm. Did the arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. Fahaha, good try, young buck. The Train and I have worked together a long time. You'll have to work harder than that to get what you want. Drat, those snacks look really tasty, too. All right, what else can we interact with? Oh, welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Anything else? Okay, I swear we've gotten everybody's ticket. So who are we supposed to talk to? Uh, well, let's talk to the birthday girl again, huh? Okay, same thing. Okay, so she's saving room for cake. All right, so Sonic must have forgotten something. Can we help him? 
Shoot, I was supposed to get Amy a cake. What am I gonna do? Mm -hmm. I'll be back for that chili dog. For such a hero as yourself, it'll be on the house. I appreciate that. I kind of forgot my wallet at home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then how was he going to buy the chili dog earlier? <laughs> okay, Sonic. Kind of a jerk move there. All right. Uh, who, who am I missing? I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, do I have to take everybody's order? Okay. Oh, it doesn't even have drinks listed. Okay. We offer water, coffee, and chaos cola as well, sir. All right, coffee. All right, so I guess I have to get everybody's order as well. Oh, it looks like he uh, asked me to do something and I wasn't paying attention. Whoops. All right, this train's exquisite. Can I take your order? I would order one of each, but I'm here for the party. I'll eat when everyone else does, okay? Interesting. Uh, okay. So I can't help Sonic yet. What a beautiful train. Okay. Can I get him... Alright, just that, huh? I thought maybe... Can I take your order? Not interested. Okay. Chicken cordon bleu does sound good, though. Well, that answers that. Alright. Uh, Shadow, did we already... We already tried to took his orders. Let's just see if we can say hello. Nope. Okay, so he's cranky. Got it. All right. Can I take your order? Nope. She also wants to save up for cake. Are you sure? Our instant ramen doesn't disappoint. I'm quite sure. Okay. How much have you stolen? All right. So looks so delectable, but sadly, we'll have to pass. If you get hungry later, we'll have the microwave warmed up for you. Uh, I don't think that's how the microwave works. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, let's ask her about freshening up. Don't I know it? <laughs> All right. Happy birthday, Amy. Weather. Okay. All right. What about that? Find anything yet? Uh oh, I made a mistake. <laughs> What else? I mean, I can only interact with so many things, right? Oh, I can turn. Oh, got it. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Oh. Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return it to its rightful owner. And let me make sh sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. All right, so I got the lost ticket. Got it. I can't go to the right, though, right? All right, so he must have lost his ticket. We might just have what you need. Cynic, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? All right. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thank you so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out. I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, ho, ho. old Cynic here wouldn't, would have their hands full kicking you out. <laughs> You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> you'd beat Cynic t nearly to death. <laughs> Wait, who made me both the microwave expert and the security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. All right. You'll do everything in your power to make sure the guests have a safe and enjoyable time, right? Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this group seems pretty capable on their own. And the train? Oh, and train? Assist Cynic if they need any help, won't you? Ha <laughs> that's all I need to hear. You have my trust. All right. So he's going to take off, and we're going to start the murder mystery. Dive into the plot. Let's go. Everybody's happy. Okay. Lore cards. That must be details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense the lore cards aren't read aloud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions. Now into the nitty-gritty for the murder mystery... Oh, now into the nitty-gritty for the murder mystery game. One of you will be murdered, and the rest will be suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for the characters they'll be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you're the detective, and you'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts, and we'll find you in the saloon. Got it. 
Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and es Espio, the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what, Reed? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did y'all get that? Okay. I was listening and hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, okay. We got a map. I have a map for each of you. Sweet. Alright, so we get a map. Added to our inventory. Excellent. The rules of the game are as follows. There's a murderer, a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence through the train and use it to interrogate the fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone, to your stations. All right, interesting. Now do I have free roam? No, not yet. Aha, this is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. Same, ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going and scoping out the place. That way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Uh, what? My backstory is that I was friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kick-starting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, that kinda sounds fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Uh oh, did the murder mystery pretend party just turn into a real murder party? Oh, the train started moving. It's so fast, grab onto something! What's going on? Ah, I'm slipping! Hold, hold on! I can't! Ah! No! Interesting. Did we just crash? That's what that sounded like. Uh, and everyone died. Now it's a mystery of the derailed train. Okay. You're both awake! Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. My head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds! We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't recall them warning me about this in the job interview. We should go check on the other cynic. Could you get the door? Of course. Hmm, seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Oh, did she not bring it? Uh, let's find another way out. I'll start looking for clues. I'll search over here. I know Amy, she's hiding something. Huh, I so suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives had sidekicks. I'm going to need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy is acting this way and interrogate her about it. I'll get the waterboarding in, <laughs> tools. All right, check out everything. You can... Everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate her. Got it. Uh, okay, just a flashback to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to help the guests. Okay. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Alright, what's this? Slippery when wet. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Sonic caught you. Got it. Anything important? Doesn't look like it. So I think I'm just going to skip through this one. The shelf itself. It's blocking our edge. Not budging. Oh, it's got a big chunk out of it, huh? Okay. Oh, so maybe she hit it with a hammer trying to move it before? Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. Got it. Uh, boxes of cereal? <laughs> okay. 
I normally make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. Haha. <laughs> okay. What's in the trash? Oh, it's empty. Okay. Nothing up here. All right. Oh, let's check this out before we talk to her. A rod. Oh. The tape is broken. Okay, so her hammer is broken. Okay. Time to interrogate Amy. Uh, yeah. I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can take ourselves out. Okay. Uh, okay, talk. Start interrogation. Uh, let's start interrogation. Yeah. We believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Microwave chili job. Attempted an escape. <laughs> Murdered a suspect. Well, let's go with the real one. I don't think you were sitting idly by while Cynic and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Cynic, let me step you through this. First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Got it. Yep. Can I just jump to it? Oh. Okay. Now I can do it. This one. All right. What? That's totally it. Okay. Do I, can I combine them? No. Nope. All right. Some damage on the shelf to show that she used her hammer. Okay. And now... Okay. Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Okay. Uh... Think. <laughs> Got it. Oh. Whoa, okay, this changed. So, Wasad or Space or Arrows in Space? Well, I guess I'll do Arrows, because then Space is its own dedicated hand. Do I have to... Okay. Okay. Sweet. Interesting. Whoa, how can I get all those? Ugh. I can't get all of them. What do these do? Bounce me, okay, got it. Well, oh, I only have to get 20. All right, sweet, I got way more than 20. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall onto. You're telling me that the, on this train, we, on this well-kept train, that damage was here before we arrived? Well, I believe someone's responsible for it hitting the shelf. Okay. And here's your broken hammer. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now I have to play another mini game. Got it. All right. Is this the same course? I guess it's not exactly the same, is it? Similar though. Oh wow. Could I? Oh, I was gonna see if I could jump. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. So we have to do it again. Got it. All right. I was just curious if I could jump the gap, because if I could jump the gap that... Because this one, it seemed like it made me go too far, so I couldn't get any of the rings. But I guess there's always extra rings, so I shouldn't really worry about it, huh? Alright. Cynic's Dream Gear. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage on its own, but if it was attached to something like a hammer... Okay, so she broke her hammer. Her Pico Pico hammer. Okay. Snap right off. Yes! Why wouldn't she tell us that? I don't know, but you know. I failed! I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off! I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and dabble in a, as a mechanic. Let me see the pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease, and fixed. Tails, thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. All right, and we're out. Okay. All right, now that we're back in the train car, what can we do? Wait, is that? Sonic's dead. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic. <laughs> Looks like the game's begun, and I'm playing out of the Yes, the game, okay. <laughs> 
Okay. No one's no one's concerned that the train like literally crashed. All right. Sonic. Eh, buddy, no, I can't move. What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Okay. Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are those wounds genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Sonic. What would I do? Or what do I do? <laughs> okay. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? These guests are incredibly renowned, which means that you must be remarkably rich, so I leave their care to you, Sonic, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. Fa ha 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 ha. Okay. All right, I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Uh oh. All right, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Interesting. That's quite the prologue. Oh, now we're in the saloon car. Okay. It's... Also a little busted up, or did Knuckles break that because he couldn't beat the game? Whoa, look at this place. All right, I think actually we're going to call it here. Uh, and if people are interested, I'll continue this plot. But if not, you know, maybe we'll just move on because this seems like a simple one. This is free on Steam, so you can go get it and try it for yourself. But yeah, if people are interested, I will solve the rest of this here. As always, I've been Cineplacebo. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.